and welcome. In today's video, we're going to show you the GoLite portable mini lift used to lift power wheelchairs into the trunk of your car with ease. Now, before we get started, I just want to say if you want a copy of our free product catalog, all you have to do is go to our website, www.mobilitydirect.com, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog, fill out the simple short form, and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. I also want to say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically going to get entered into our monthly giveaway raffle. We give away a free mobility product once a month, and all you have to do is subscribe, and you could be the next lucky winner. I'm going to throw a few of our winners on the screen for just a moment, and we'll be right back with you. All right, so I'm just we're here with petition. Gloria, and she's got her scooter that we're donating, and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel. You have no idea. You really have no idea. I really thank you so, so much. No problem. Can I get a hug? Yes. Another hug? Definitely. Subscribe right away. <laughs> That's it. Keeping it simple. Do you like the scooter? I love it. What do you think about it? I need a bed. Believe me. Is it gonna? Is it going to help you get around better? Yeah, sure. Sure will. Awesome. All right, welcome back. Now, hopefully you subscribed, and if you did, maybe you'll be the next lucky winner. So let's get started here. As you can see, I just lifted the portable mini lift out of the trunk of the car. It weighs only 25 pounds. It has a little pouch with a zipper to keep your remote control. And the remote control just has a simple up and down button. And I'm just demonstrating how to use the remote control to raise the lift up. It works with a scissor lifting mechanism. It's uh, very similar to a crane lift that linemen use to fix electrical wires. There are little stoppers on each of the four wheels along the base there's a total of six wheels, but there's four on the outside corners that have stoppers, and you can lock the wheels into position so that when you're using the lift to transport your wheelchair or scooter into the trunk of your car, it's not moving around. Uh, if you're on a ramp as well, it's useful to use those lockers. So we just wanted to demonstrate that it can lift, and it does lift higher. It can lift all the way up to 35.8 inches, which is plenty for most SUVs and trucks. So once you have it all the way lifted, you can easily roll the power wheelchair or scooter into the trunk of your car instead of deadlifting it, which we all know wheelchairs and scooters are not light. They're pretty heavy. So we're just lowering the lift back down. As you can see across the top, there's a set of two straps with buckles that you can use to secure your mobility product to the platform. By the way, the platform's width is about 18.9 inches and the length is 29.5 inches. Your mobility product can be a little bit bigger. You just want to make sure that it's not too big and that it's not going to extend past the length or the width of the platform by too much. So here we have a Pride Jazzy Carbon folding power wheelchair and it, it does not exceed the 100 pound weight capacity limitation. So as you can see I'm just kind of cantilevering the power chair onto the lift itself. I'm not deadlifting it. It's not like I'm carrying the full weight of the power wheelchair which weighs around 45 to 50 pounds. And now I'm using the straps, which you can loosen and adjust to fit the size of your mobility product. It works like any simple strap. There's a little adjustment uh, piece there that you can use to extend the straps out. And there are two sets of straps, but in this case, I'm just using one. It's not necessary to use both, but you can if you want to. And once the mobility product is strapped to the platform, you can use the remote control to raise the lift so that it's level with the entry point of your trunk or the cargo storage area of your SUV or van, thus allowing the user to roll the mobility product into the cargo storage area, or in this case, the trunk of the sedan. Once you have it all the way lifted, you can just lock the wheels in or unlock them if you need to move the lift closer to the trunk of your car or adjust the position to make it easier. There's plenty of options. So use those stoppers on the wheels. It's just little red switches that you can change into the position to where it's locked into place and it won't roll around. Once you have it close enough to the storage area of your vehicle, you can kind of roll it in or slide it in carefully. Make sure you don't hit your joystick. Those joysticks are delicate. And even with the mobility product in the vehicle, I just disengaged the brakes so that I can roll it around a bit. Uh, but even with the power wheelchair in the vehicle, you still have plenty of room, even in this small Nissan Altima sedan, to 
stack the portable mini lift inside of the trunk with the power wheelchair, which is usually the case with most vehicles. Of course, if you have a bigger power wheelchair or a bigger scooter, you might not be able to do that. But in this case, we're showing you here, we're just lowering the lift that you can do it. And again, the max loading capacity for the lift is 100 pounds. Do not exceed that maximum weight limit. It will damage the lift. So once you have it all the way lowered, the lift again only weighs 25 pounds, which is much lighter than most powered mobility products. And even with the power wheelchair in the trunk of this Nissan Altima, I'm still able to stack it in there with the power wheelchair. It's a great product. It's very popular, very affordable. If you want to learn more about it, give our non-commissioned sales experts a call. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says free catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic. We love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.